everyone, it is your boy Blazy here, bringing you a brand new video from a very exciting new collection. So we're almost at the weekend, people. You can see the backdrop is a little bit different today. Uh, me and Amelia have gone back up north and visit her parents. So yeah, we won't do an MTV Cribs today, but the background is a little different. We've got the alcohol trolley here, so we can have a little bit of a tipple uh, during today's video. But this brand new collection is super, super exciting. So. Before we headed up north yesterday, Top Surprise me with all the brand new products from the latest Topps Match Attacks Euros collection. It's the first time Topps have ever had the Euros license. So this is the first time ever that we are getting Euros Match Attacks. The official collection is available for pre-order right now online. And we've managed to get our hands on the starter pack, a multi-pack, all of the big tins and all of the little tins for the channel. So hopefully this is gonna give you guys a good idea of everything to expect when the new collection drops at the beginning of March. So today's video, people, is a super exciting one because we're gonna be opening all three of the brand new classic celebration tins that contain a host of new limited edition cards. And there is the chance of getting a genuine relic celebration card. If you take a look at the top of this box, they look really cool. It looks like you can get a Ronaldo with a piece of his captain's armband inside, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, I am just super, super hyped to open the latest Match Attacks collection and the first ever Topps Match Attacks Euros collection. So all three tins coming in today's video, which is super exciting. And you know what, people? I just cannot wait to get these ripped. So before we get started, people, if you enjoy today's video then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe and hit the bell never to miss a single video from your boy blazy we have got the little tins the starter pack a multi-pack to go before all the new products that come out when the collection is officially launched so there's so much to look forward to people but for now sit back enjoy today's video and let's rip the three classic celebration tins so here we have it people we have all three of the brand new classic celebration tins ready to open for today's video and i am hyped people we have got access to the collection just before it launches and also this is going to be our first look ever at a euros match tax collection you guys who watch the channel regularly know that whilst i love the hobby stuff match tax i do think is the most enjoyable collection to rip it's the funnest to collect uh, and the guys over there at tops always do an incredible job at getting us some insanely designed cards so yeah i am super hyped to get to open these today we've got all three tins uh, we've got the Hot Shots, the Next Gen, the International Icons. So we're going to get to see a host of exclusive limited edition cards that you can only get by purchasing these tins. And they are available for pre-order now over at Topps UK. So I'll put the link down in the description. If you head over there, you can pre-order these ahead of launch. If not, you probably want to go out and check your local WH Smith in a few weeks. And hopefully these would have started to drop in stores. So like I said at the beginning, people... First time ever Tops have done a Euros collection. They've officially got the license, uh, which is really cool. And yeah, I am so hyped to see what these guys have managed to do with their collection because they always do such an insane job. Uh, the one thing you will notice as we go through this video, and I thought I'd point it out nice and early, they are missing a couple of licenses. They haven't got England, Germany, Italy and France, I want to say. And that's because those national teams have signed exclusive deals uh, with Panini. Some people won't like that, but I honestly don't think that is a big deal at all. I think when you look at what Topps produce in terms of cards and stickers, the guys do an insane job. So whilst a couple of licenses are missing and it won't be to everyone's liking, I really don't see the problem with it. I think they look great. I mean, I look at the Jack Grealish card. Look at that. On the Hot Shots limited edition design, it looks really, really cool. And it's blue on blue. It looks really, really good. So in my opinion, I really don't think it matters, people. It's not a big deal. So... Yeah, super hyped to get these open, super hyped to get it ripped. And in tomorrow's video, you guys are going to get to see these booster tins as well. So, so much content coming, people. It's absolutely insane. So do subscribe and keep an eye out on the channel to make sure you do not miss these openings. So before we get started, people, I am going to give you these lowdown on the classic celebration tins. These tins retail for £14.99. pence. You can pre-order them at Tops UK. For that price, you'll get 44 cards per tin, as well as an additional four exclusive limited edition cards, giving you 48 cards in total. And you do have the chance of getting genuine relic cards inside these tins. So overall, I give these a four and a half out of five. 
I think these are some of the hottest products on the market. They're absolutely insane. And I love the fact you can get some really cool relics this year. I'm just going to flip this around and show you guys. It almost looks like you've got a bit of uh, Cristiano Ronaldo's armband inside that card. And again, same there for Kevin De Bruyne. So these could be some of the best looking relic cards we have seen across any collection, not only just match attacks, which is really, really cool. So I'm hyped. I really am hyped. I have no idea if we have got relics inside these tins. I don't even know what the odds are because if you look on the back, they've not even shown them this year. So yeah, I'm super hyped. Usually one in 28 tins, but hopefully it's a little bit less than we get one today. So we're going to start with Mega Tin number one, which is the classic celebration Hot Shots, meaning you've got exclusive Hot Shot limited edition cards inside these tins. So let's go, people. We are hyped. We are hyped. First one getting open, and hopefully we've got a relic card from one of these three tins. If we have got a relic card, it's going to be absolutely insane. You can see we've got a nice little wooden table today as well, so we're going up in the world. Here we go, people. Tin number one. Let's go. What have we got inside this tin? So one really big thick pack of cards, uh, and then your limited editions come separately in a separate pack. And if you've got a relic, there will be a third bonus pack. So what I'm going to do is not cheat by looking in the tin. We're just going to take each pack out and take a look and see what we have got. So one big thick pack of cards. Look at this. This is what we like to see people. So we start off this year with a Robin Gossens base card for Germany. Again, you can see without the license, you're missing the manufacturer and the team crest. But again, in my opinion, really not a problem. I think they're sleek looking cards. And actually, I'm just really excited to see this license with tops. Tops, I think when the stickers come out, which I do believe is the middle of spring, are going to drop one of the hottest sticker albums we've ever seen. So yeah, it's going to be worth the wait, people. It's going to be worth the wait. So Robin Gossens kicks us off with our first base card. We then have a Yuri T. Elements for Belgium. Again, we're just going to take a closer look at one of these base cards. Nice looking design on there. Again, you've got the stats as usual at the bottom. You've got the team flag. You've got the team crest. And yeah, they're just nice looking cards. And it seems crazy to see tops with the UEFA license. I remember going on a school trip to France in like 2004. I had the 2004 sticker album to keep me entertained on the coach. And yeah, it was still with Panini back then. So you've got to think that is at least, you know, 20, 28 years worth of Panini albums. So this is a big, big year, people. Right. Loic Nego, Nego, I do believe next, is up for Hungary. We have ourselves Nikola Milenkovic for the Serbian national team. We then have ourselves Adam Gnedzna Cherin. I want to say that is Slovenia, not Slovakia. Yeah, looks like Slovenia. We've then got ourselves Karamadiemi, the young striker. Fabian Ruiz, a Stuart Armstrong, Scotland making it to the Euros, which is great to see. We got Alexander Schlager, Raphael Liao, where will we go in the summer? PSG looking for a replacement for Mbappe. It could just be Raphael Liao and Portugal have dropped one of the best looking national team kits we have seen sometime with that. That with a nice little Ronaldo number on the back would be spicy. We have got Salih Ozcan for Turkey. We've got Marco Asensio. We've got Vida for Croatia. Feels like he's been playing since, you know, even I was born. Uh, he's been at Croatia that long. We've got Nico Elvedi for Switzerland up next. We've got Bosniak for Slovakia. We have our first England card, which is Luke Shaw uh, of England and Man United. Denzel Dumfries, one of the most in and out of form uh, right backs you're going to see in world football, but incredible potential still, the young Dutch right back. We've then got ourselves Livakovic, great goalkeeper for Croatia. We have ourselves Federico Di Marco. Uh, Newcastle, we're looking at him, I do believe, in the summer, but FFP means we can't just buy everyone. Uh, about a great Champions League final last year, didn't he? We've then got ourselves a Joachim Anderson of Denmark, Ernest Muki of Albania, Jules Kunde, first French card of the day, uh, the defensive midfielder for Barcelona. We've then got ourselves Kretschke, I want to say, for the Czech Republic, a David Fratesi for the Italian national side. Oh, look at this, people! First Chrome Shield of the competition, we have got ourselves a Danny Olmo Chrome Shield for Spain. Look at that. That is nice. As usual, we've got a nice little fact about the player on the back making his scoring debut in a 7-0 win against Malta. But look at that. Chrome Shields, really, really nice design on these as well. You've got the national flag colours around the back, almost looks a bit like a church stained glass effect. And we've got Danny Olmo for Spain. He scored a hat-trick 
uh, for Leipzig against Munich at the beginning of the season in the cup. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Danny Olmo, our first Chrome Shield. And we still have two more tins to open. That, people, is a massive W to start off our video today. Look at that. Danny Olmo Chrome Shield for the Spanish national side. So that is followed next with Marco Ineltovic on the Emerald Parallel. Uh, I've not opened any singular packs yet, so I can't tell you the odds. I believe Emeralds every one in four packs. But we have a very nice golden goal scorer, Marco Ineltovic of Austria. Uh, we've then got ourselves our first normal foil of the day. We've got graduated gem Adam Hlozek for the Czech Republic. Right there, so we'll get him on our holo pile. We've then got an ultimate Antoine Griezmann holo for France. Another graduated gem, uh, Vipotnik for Slovenia. We've then got a purple, and I do believe the difference between purple and green is that these are the mirror foils and these are the rainbow foils. So that there's two different types of foil here, people. Your graduated gem is rainbow. Your golden goal scorer, I do believe, is mirror. And you can see it's got all the tops logos there glowing in the background. But Antonio Silva, one of the biggest centre-backs in the game uh, on the purple parallel right there. That is really nice. Uh, I believe they've done what they've done for Nations League. You're going to have sapphire parallels, emerald parallels, and purple parallels. Sapphire for the base, green for the mirror foils, purple for the rainbow foils. That, people, is very, very nice. Antonio Silva of Portugal. Look at that. We'll get him placed on there. We'll sort that out in a second. We've then got a back-to-front card, which is a legend signature style, Wayne Rooney. That is spicy, people. Look at that. Match attacks always do it with the signature styles. They just look so good. But we've got a nice little Wayne Rooney there. We've then got ourselves a Captain Luka Modric, a Hero Akanji. These are mirror foils, I do believe, because of the way the light doesn't quite refract off it. You've then got your one with the Tops logos on the back, which I do believe are your rainbows. So... We've got ourselves Hero Akanji. We've got a Centurion Simon Kier of Denmark. We have a golden goal scorer, Harry Kane of the England national side. Sue Cristiano Ronaldo, the GOAT himself. A golden goal scorer for Portugal. We have a Hero Lobotka. A Willy Orban for Hungary. Dusan Tadic, captain for... Oh, I've forgotten the flag. Serbia, there we go. Pedri, one of the hottest young talents of the game for Spain. A Centurion Bonucci. Uh, seems weird since we're playing for Italy. The guy will still be playing. He's like 45. He's a beast. We've got Benjamin Sesco Hero. And we finish off with a Crystal Lewis Ferguson. And these are parallels of the base cards right there, people. I know I've explained it like 100 times. But for those of you new to match attacks, that is the difference. So we're just going to zoom in a little closer on those now that we've opened the first pack. And we're going to get all those mirror foils maybe put up here. Or actually, just put the base up there because the base pile is going to be in insane so that's our half of our first tin down we've then got our limited editions to come people so we have a limited edition pack right here annoyingly no relic pack but we have got a limited edition pack to be taking a look at here people so first lot of limited editions that are behind this qr code we've got ourselves a hot shot memphis to pie never really popped to man united uh, but found a lot of success after he left a nice hot shots to pie we have a hot shots jack Grealish of Manchester City in England. Look at that, people. A great-looking limited edition. We've then got ourselves Goncalo Ramos of PSG and the Portuguese national team. And we've then got ourselves Hoyland for Denmark. Look at that. Hoyland finally starting to find some form for Man United. Uh, it's only taken a little while, hasn't it? But he does look like he really could be the real deal. So I don't know how best to place these out. I think we might put some limited editions across the top right there. I think let's move our base cards out of the way. We've got so many cards. So that looks better, doesn't it, people? We've reorganised. We've got the rarest pools on the table there for us and those insane limited edition cards. So that is tin number one complete. We did take a little bit longer getting through tin number one. And the reason for that is it's our first time looking at this brand new collection. So we'll move a little bit quicker through tin two. And for tin two, we have got next gen celebrating some of the hottest up and coming talent in all of European football. So here we go, people. We have got another big thick pack here to open. What are we going to have inside the next mega tin? So here we go, people. Another big pack. This time we start ourselves off with Ibrahima Kanate for France, Jan Kutcher, 
we have ourselves a Cherby for Italy. Martin Braithwaite once played for Barcelona, uh, a little bit of a journeyman for Denmark. We have ourselves Ivan Bellew for Albania. We have Yusuf Bafana. Dennis Albiek for Romania. I think that might be our first Romanian card of the day. We then got ourselves K Trips, Kieran Trippier, right back for England and Newcastle United. Beast of a right foot when it comes to his free kicks. We've got Nikola Vlasic. We have Robert Poletka for uh, Slovakia. I always get Slovakia and Slovenia mixed up. It's really bad. We've then got Steven Bergwijn for the Netherlands. Jan Sommer. Flipping it around to the upside down cards. We have a Marcel Savica, a Tavio Dersivoglu for Turkey. Gavi, one of the hottest prospects in all of football. Absolutely guy when he got his knee injury. He will be out for like six to nine months, I do believe, still. But a cracking player with a lot of potential. We have ourselves Conrad Lehmer, Angus Gunn. Flipping it around again, people. We have Jasmine Kurtic, a Julian Brandt for Germany. Charles de Kelleter, one of the hottest rookies a few years ago. The move to Italy didn't do him too many, many favours. But again, still an awful lot of potential. We have Dusan Vlahovic of Juve in Serbia. We have Szczesny for Hungary. Timo Werner. We then have another Chrome Shield. Look at this, people. And it is a massive L because it's another Danny Olmo. We got back-to-back -back Danny Olmos from back-to-back -back tins. Ah, oh, that's really, really frustrating. Anyone watching these videos when the collection comes out, if you've got duplicate Chrome Shields, let me know. We'll do a little trade. Uh, but yeah, another... As soon as I saw the colours, I knew it, people. Another Danny Olmo. What are the chances? There's like 16 Chrome Shields and we've got two Danny Olmos back to back. It's just unlucky. Ah, oh, right. We have a Golden Gore scorer, Ciro Immobile for Italy on the Emerald Parallel. We then got the ultimate Cristiano Ronaldo on that Rainbow Foil. Sue! What a great card. Insane to think he's doing another European competition. I mentioned I went to France in 2004. I remember watching him play against um, England in the Euros. Crazy. Absolutely crazy that he made his debut in 2004 for these big competitions. We got Nico Williams, uh, graduated gem for Spain. He's absolutely rapid. We then got a purple ultimate Luka Modric of Croatia. If we're right, this is going to be a signature style legend coming up next. We have got ourselves Giorgino Chiellini, a signature style for Italy. I'm loving those legend signature styles. They look really, really good. We then got ourselves Simon Kier, captain, a Granite Jacker Centurion. We have Kalinoglu, captain, Jackie Grealish, hero, Cristiano Ronaldo, Sue, captain for Portugal. We got Patrick Schick, Dusan Vlahovic, and Andy Robertson, Ciro Mobile, Jan Oblak, David Alaba. And we finish off with two crystals. We have a crystal, a Ruben Neves for Portugal and a Marco Anatovic of Austria. Completely butchered the pronunciation of Ruben Neves right there. But hey-ho, we take it and we move. So time for some more limited editions, people. Here we go. What is coming out of the next limited edition pack? So annoyingly, no relics in this one, but let's take a look and see at these next gems. So we have got ourselves the QR code right there. We then have a next-gen Sukic for Croatia. Uh, again, he's been linked with Newcastle in the summer. We'll totally take him there. We have a next-gen Xavi Simmons of the Netherlands national team. Again, killing it on the wing over in Germany at the moment. Could be a big, big player for the Netherlands. We've then got ourselves a Scalvini for Italy. And we finish off with Gavi. Impossible to not put Gavi in the next-gen scene. The guy is still incredible. Even though he's injured, I think he's going to come and bounce back big time. So, another tin open there, people. No relic hiding inside of that one. But we do have one more tin to open. Is it going to be final tin magic with this red international icons tin? Here we go, people. The red tin is coming up next. Again, not taking a look. We want a surprise if we have a relic. So, let's take a look and see what we've got inside this big thick pack so will we get our third Danny Olmo chrome shield let's find out so we've got Andreas Christensen we have Taulant Sefri for Albania we have Lukeba, Kufal, Chiesa again going to be subjects of a lot of bids in the summer I heard Liverpool are interested we have Georges Pushkas for Romania back-to-back -back Romanians this time with Tudor Baluta 
for Romania. We have Aaron Ramsdale for England, Josip Stanisic, Coop Miners, Zakaria, Radu. A Mason Mount's not found that form yet for Man United. He was unreal two years ago. Could he come back at the Euros? We've got ourselves Yilmaz of Turkey, Danny Carvajal, we have Gregoric for, uh, no, Austria. Austria on that one. We've then got ourselves Drutic for Slovenia. We have Ryan Porteous, Diego Costa, Charles de Calatere, Dusan Vlahovic, and Attila Szyslai, Timo Werner, Sto Stojanovic, followed up with Thomas Mounier for Belgium. It doesn't look like there's a chrome shield in this one because we've gone straight to the Emerald. The Emerald Parallel is a captain. Andy Robertson of Scotland and the Liverpool team. So we've got two emeralds this time. So where you don't get a chrome shield, it looks like you do get two emeralds. We've got ourselves a zero Immobile emerald right there. We then have a graduated Dem Popescu for Romania. We have a graduated Dem Kerkes for Hungary. We then got a purple ultimate Virgil van Dijk. That is a very nice purple parallel right there. Or purple refractor. I should be saying, for the Netherlands team. Look at that. There is no better centre-back in the world uh, than Virgil van Dijk is there. We then have a Czech Republic legend signature style. Is it Nedved? We don't know. It is Nedved of the Czech Republic. He was unreal for Juve back in the day. That Juve team when Nedved was playing was something else. Look at that. We have Pavel Nedved uh, of the Czech Republic. We've then got a few foil cards We've got ourselves another Kier right there. Our final cards, we have a Granite Jacker, Kalanoglu, Jack Greenish Hero, Cristiano Ronaldo Su. Uh, we've got Cody Gakpo, Alvaro Morata, Serges uh, Savic. We've got a Leonardo Bonucci, John McGinn, Patrick Schick. And we're finishing off with two Sapphires. We've got ourselves a Stuart Armstrong of Scotland and an Alexander Schlager of Austria. So... Two more crystals for the binder. And people, we don't have one of those relic cards. It didn't happen today, people. It didn't happen today. But when the collection officially drops, we will do a big boy relic hunt looking for one of those insane relics. So we have a QR code right there. And our first celebration limited edition. We got an international icon, Ericsson. No one would have thought after the World Cup that he'd still be playing. Uh, or the last Euros even, it was the last Euros that happened that he'd still be playing. So it's good to see him back uh, and he is killing it for Man United. We've got ourselves an international icons, Mitrovic now playing over in Saudi, an international icons, Modric, and we finish off with international icon, Virgil van Dijk. Bosch, people, that is the three Megatons open today. We are going to take 30 seconds and we're going to summarise today's video. So, people, there we have it. That is the three Megatons open today. And here are the 12 exclusive limited edition cards you will get from opening all three of those Megatons. They look great. They really do look great. I think Tops killed it with Match Attacks. They killed it with Match Attacks Extra. And they've managed to top it again with Match Attacks Euros. Honestly, this collection looks insane. It's really, really cool. I'm loving the Relic Hunt. Whatever they've done with these cards right here is insane. And usually I'm kind of a one man and done when it comes to tins. I like the occasional chase. But we might just have to go out and get ourselves like 20, 30 tins and see if we can get ourselves one of those Cristiano Ronaldo relic cards. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Just like McDonald's, I'm loving it, people. Look at that. A phenomenal collection. Some amazing limited editions. Definitely get your pre-orders in, people, because these look absolutely insane. And I'm already hyped to open the pocket tins. So yeah, look forward to this coming tomorrow, people. And yeah, this collection is something else. So if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you smash that like button, do comment and let me know what you thought of the hits. And finally, do subscribe. Never to miss a single video from your boy Blazy. We'll be back with the pocket tin tomorrow, but have a fantastic evening, people. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next video.